Welcome to Beauty in the Garden. I'm T. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about some of the things we can plant in the month of January. But before we actually go ahead and jump into talking about what we can start in January, let's just talk about how we're going to prepare our gardens. So before I even get into planting my plants in January, I go ahead and have my little notebook here. And I like to jot down the positions of every bed that I have, every pot that I plan on using, I jot it down in my notebook. Now this is a great way to know how many pots that you have, how many plants you're going to plant in certain areas, and things like that. So this gives you a good idea of where to plant it. So just in case when you grab out your seeds and when you are deciding to plant your garden, you'll have a great idea of where to position your plants. So what I do is I literally, <clears throat> So what I literally do is draw a diagram of my garden. Okay, so this actually is the main garden. This is the uh, containers that I had last season. So I'm showing you last season's format. So what I do is I write down the beds and things like that. And this is the staircase and what I planted on planting on the staircase and the pots that I put on the side. So this just gives me an idea of what I plan on planting and how much space that I have to plant in. So now I actually have four grow bags in that area, but before I had three big blue tote containers there. So now I have actually more growing space over there by the staircase. So this will be a different format. So I will go ahead and draw out all that and then decide where I'm going to place what plants, okay? And that helps out a ton, you guys, to take out some of the guesswork on where you're going to be popping things in. Now, there are so many, so many plants that we can plant in the month of January. It's out, just mind boggling, okay? This is like a gardener's happy spot right here. This is the time we buy our seeds, we figure out what we're going to get, things like that. So like this year, I plan on planting artichokes. And this is the number one thing that I'm really gonna be planting in the month of January because it takes a great deal of time to actually get an artichoke. Um, this is the brand that I end up picking up. Um, this is an artichoke, this is a green globe artichoke. Um, and it takes 85 days to harvest. That is a great deal of time. So I really wanna go ahead and get this started. This is a pretty variety of artichoke flower in early summer. So early summer, I won't be able to harvest them until early summer. So I wanna go ahead and get this started indoors because it actually takes 10 to 20 days to germinate, you guys. So that's just germination time. So I wanna go ahead and get these artichokes um, planted. So this is one of the plants that I'll be planting in the month of January. The next thing up is eggplants. Now, I'm not a big fan of eggplants, but I do like it ever so often. So I do like to have different varieties because they do taste a little bit different and the texture um, of the um, eggplant is different in all of them. Um, so I do plant, anyways, I do plant the eggplant even though I don't eat as much of it, okay? It's a great substitute if you want to soak it. What I do is I marinate it into beef broth to give it a flavor of texture of eating ground beef. Um, but eggplant is very, has a texture of meat um, if you uh, ever eat eggplant. Okay, so let's talk about the eggplant variety. So here is my seed binder. I showed you guys about a year ago, uh, maybe two years ago in this binder. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the tab. We're gonna go to eggplants, peppers. Here we have the Rosa Bianca, we have the um, Casper White, we have the Green Giant, the Black Beauty, the Green Knight, and the Long Purple Eggplant. Um, these are the eggplants that I have here, you guys, right here. Now, I did end up purchasing some. This is Burpees in my gardener and as well Baker's Creek. Um, seeds that I purchased there with the eggplant. Um, I found a great deal of varieties. Um, 
shopping online and looking for different brands. Um, now, if you guys didn't know, um, you can purchase a great deal from Baker's Creek and in my gardener. Um, I realized that Baker's Creek have a lot more uh, varieties, um, but in my gardener is a pretty reasonable price as well. Um, you don't get as many seeds as you would get with Baker's Creek, but um, but you paying for it, okay? Um, but if you're just starting out, I would say go to In My Gardener. Um, he has a great deal of seeds, and as well, he is another YouTuber. And on top of that, you guys, I do have my own little seed shop. Uh, it does not have as many seeds as these bigger um, uh, companies. But I do have a little small seed shop. If you want to check that out, it's viewbytea.com. Um, and you will see up on the Beauty in the Garden under the three tabs. And you'll see my seed shop, okay? But eggplant. Eggplant is another one that takes a great deal of time to get itself going. It needs a little bit of heat. So I do have in the description box below uh, where you can purchase a heat mat from. And now the heat mat that I do use to get my seeds germinated is from Vivo Sun. Um, it's a great product. It's been working for me and I have had it for a while now. Okay, the next thing up is you guys, peppers. Who does not love peppers? Um, for me, I love sweet, hot, I just love peppers. So um, this year I plan on planting so many different varieties. I don't have to plant as many this year. Um, because I overwintered a great deal. I will show you guys a video of how those are doing. I do have out there banana peppers, the cayenne long, um, I have the California wonder, the poblano pepper, um, and I have a red bell pepper that is growing out there right now. Um, but I am going to be planting some habaneros. Uh, I really like the habaneros. I'm going to plant the pasilla pepper here. So the habanero and the pasilla. Let's go to peppers. Let's pass the peppers. So, I mean, I have a ton of peppers, you guys. Definitely the pretty and sweet. Uh, I want to plant that one. This is the pretty and sweet pepper. Um, I planted the large cherry hot. It's a good pepper. Okay. Um, I think I've got too many more seeds of this. I should have saved some more seeds. Um, I have a great deal of seeds, but I, I didn't save too many of the uh, large red cherry. Uh, the next one up that I want to uh, say uh, plant is the pimento pepper. This is the pimento pepper. I purchased this, you guys, from Walmart. Definitely jalapenos. I definitely want the jalapeno um, peppers right here. I will be planting those. And as well, I love this pepper right here. I gotta go back to Baker's Creek and purchase this. This is the Dode Span pepper. This is a massive mammoth pepper. It gets huge, you guys. It was so good. Um, so it reminds you of a bell pepper, but to me, it was a lot sweeter. Um, so the Dode Span pepper, I will be planting that up again. The next one up is the hot lemon uh, pepper. A beautiful pepper right here now this pack of seed came from burpees um, I do purchase seeds from all over you guys I don't have a Pacific um, company that I will prefer I feel like whatever you want to plant enjoy it and and plant what you um, like to plant okay um, right here is a, a purple beauty sweet pepper it's a beautiful pepper now if you don't get this pack right here I did pick up uh, last year from the Dollar Tree was a blend. Okay, so you can just plant this whole pack and you'll probably get um, whatever varieties that they supposedly have listed up here. Um, so I think this is a good deal too. If you're just starting out, you just want to grow your peppers. Um, I like to know what I'm planting and where I'm planting it. So, um, but this is pretty cool. 
okay this is a grand bell pepper mix uh, from the Dollar Tree um, let's see what else we got here I am going to look for this peach pepper and um, it is on Baker's Creek and I will definitely be looking for that because you guys have told me about it and I'm really interested and very intrigued about it so I definitely will be doing that okay all right um the next thing up is tomatoes oh my goodness you guys i plan on planting at least 20 to 30 varieties of tomatoes so this is my section of tomatoes you guys i don't want to kind of go through all of the tomatoes but i have a great deal back in front of different varieties of tomatoes i have here the yellow pear the honeycomb oh the honeycomb and the yellow pear so sweet you guys so so good I have the yellow stopher. I like that. I like to cook that on the grill. Um, the pink ox heart was good. My Amish paste and my Roma tomatoes, I use those, you guys, for pasting, jarring. Um, they just do so much good as my paste tomatoes. Um, I have the hunt, the Hartsman. Um, it's like a gooseberry uh, tomato. Um, the Gilberti, oh, the Gilberti, you guys, you got to try the Gilberti. The Gilberti is really good. Um, that one and as well, um, another one of my favorite is the um, vintage wine. The vintage wine tomato, but the, I really like the Gilberti. The Gilberti looks like this, you guys. I don't want to take all them out, but the Gilberti looks like this. It's a really good, good, sweet tomato. I really like that. Um, I planted the brandy wine. Um, I purchased some brandy wine seeds, the red brandy wine seeds from Mrs. Homestead Hart, Mrs. H. Um, I did purchase, uh, what else from her? Some Amish paste and, oh yeah, what else I got from Mrs. H. Okay. Uh, Mr. Scrapey and uh, San Marzano's I purchased from Mrs. H, Mrs. Homestead Heart. She has a beautiful channel, great homestead, um, just amazing, just a beautiful spirited person um, as far as I know. Um, and she likes to giggle, so I like to giggle too, so <laughs> it works out for me. Uh, the next thing up is the Jubilee. Uh, I like the Jubilee. The only one that I did not care for, you guys, was the cherry, large cherry tomatoes that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. For some reason, the taste, the flavor was not there for me. Um, I mean, it was very bitter or tangy or something like that. You guys let me know in the comments below if you tried the large red cherry tomato from the Dollar Tree and was your uh, taste palette is the same as mine because I wasn't I didn't care for that one but I do have the seeds I do still grow it because what I do I um I go ahead and season it with some Italian seasoning and, and uh, drench it down with some olive oil and I go ahead and jar it and it just it comes out really beautiful that way but you guys otherwise and just eating them fresh uh-uh absolutely not for my taste palette the green zebra tomato, it's just a stunning tomato, you guys. I don't think the flavor is that great, but it's just a beautiful, stunning tomato. Um, and uh, I like it. Um, it it's, it's, it's not that sweet, um, but it's, it's, it's a good for frying a fried green tomato because it's just not sweet, okay? And the next thing I found was the Atomic Grape. That was gonna be a new one for me, and I'm excited to go ahead and plant that. So uh, plant up your tomatoes. That's another great one, you guys, to go ahead and get it started in the month of January. Um, the next thing up will be lettuce. You can plant your lettuce. Get those lettuce planted, you guys. The price of lettuce has gone sky high, so please go ahead and get your lettuce planted. I do have some lettuce still that survived um, the winter, the Arctic freeze that I have inside of the greenhouse. The ones that I had um, out in the garden, they all um, they all turned to mush. Um, but if you have a place that you can go ahead and start growing those lettuce, go ahead and start growing those lettuce, especially if you are a person that likes salad mixes and things like that because the price of lettuce is really, really high. Um, so lettuce, great one to start as well. 
The next thing up is brassicas. Now we can go ahead and get our second uh, batch of brassicas in and um, you'll be ready by, they'll be ready to harvest by spring. I will recommend that you start everything you guys indoors. Uh, if you're in a, in a colder climate, go ahead and start those things indoors. Everything that I'm telling you guys in today's video, I will be starting indoors. Um, I used to grow everything right here and I used to put them, <laughs> I used to have so many trays right here um, just so I can go ahead and get my plants started. Um, and it's just be lined up, you guys. I'll have a ton of them. Matter of fact, I even had it to a point where I even had a little shelf, little, little short shelf where I can just have them, just starting them right there. But now I have a grow tent and I grow everything out there in the grow tent and that just works perfectly. Uh, if some of you guys just coming onto my channel, uh, yes, I do have a grow tent, but if you do not have a grow tent, a nice sunny windowsill or any type of glass uh, door like this, do go ahead and start your seeds indoors. Uh, and as well, we can start some alliums. Go ahead and get some of your um, your onions started, especially your spring onions. Spring onions are a great one to go ahead and start indoors. Uh, I wouldn't recommend peas because it's very easy to damage peas. But if you can start them indoors in clusters and put maybe a little small steak or something to go ahead and get them, you can start those as well indoors. And you guys, you're gonna have some beautiful peas come spring. Because some reason, peas just love the spring. Okay, so um, start those peas as well. The next thing up is herbs. And I told you guys, this is, a, this is gonna be a big thing for me this year because I really was realizing that I do not have that much herbs outside. So I will be starting some oregano, some thyme, um, some cilantro now because cilantro likes the cold. It will bolt real fast. I'll be starting some basil, some sage. Um, I do have different type of uh, basils. I got like maybe three or four different types of basil. I will be starting some tarragon, um, some fennel, and as well, let's see what else I got. What else herb in here? Some um, margarine, sweet, mint. I always tear this word up, you guys. I'm not even gonna lie. Margarine, margarine. Yeah, we gonna go with that. <laughs> we gonna go with that. We gonna go with that. I use like a margarine, 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 mana, mana, whatever. I tear it all up, but yes, I will be starting that. So I have a great deal of herbs plus parsley. Um, so I'm gonna literally dedicate the area that I have my mint. I'm actually gonna dedicate that whole area over there just for herbs. So everything that's in there now that is like brassicas, um, onions and things like that, I'm gonna actually take all of that out, okay? I'm gonna take all of that out and I'm gonna just gonna be planting that whole, um, that whole um, metal raised bed uh, full of herbs because I really think that I really need more herbs um, to make my own seasons and things like that. I already do like garlic powder, onion powder, um, um, crushed hot pepper, things like that. So I definitely want to go ahead and make sure I have my own seasonings, you guys. So that is just a, a bonus, okay? But that is that is it for today's video. Um, some of the things that I'll be planting and getting planted up in the month of January. Now I will be shooting you guys as many videos as I can to kind of get you guys up and ready and motivated to go ahead and get those gardens up and beautiful. And um, I'm just so happy to go ahead and be able to talk to you guys a little bit longer about how I go about preparing myself for the upcoming season. One of the biggest seasons for most gardeners. Now, if you did not know, uh, I do have a video on how to make this book right here. Um, but you can hold all your seeds. And it's just so easy to do. I just grab my book and I, I just take it wherever I want to and uh, get the planting. Um, and as well, I have videos on how to get some seeds started, your seed starting mix and things like that. Um, go ahead and check those videos out. I have roughly about going on now about almost 500 videos that you can watch. Um, that kind some of videos that can get you guys going to get those gardens up and ready. We at the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy the content. 
please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell you guys so you can be notified when i do upload a video and go ahead you guys and come over to beauty in the garden facebook instagram and tiktok and as well go ahead and share the content it does help the content be able to move over to and find other people to get them motivated as well and like i always tell you guys remember there's beauty in everyone's garden and bye-bye for now.